Welcome to Highway Herald, your roadmap to the latest in auto. Today we're diving into the world of electric vehicles, EVs, a realm where automakers, investors, and policymakers are all vying for a piece of the electrified pie. But as we'll see, not all is as it seems in this high-voltage landscape. We're about to uncover the top five EV scandals that are shaking the very foundations of the EV market. Starting with scandal number five, the Electrify America debacle. Nearly a decade ago, the automotive industry was shaken by Dieselgate, a scandal that saw Volkswagen charged with installing deceptive software in their diesel cars to cheat EPA emission tests. The fallout was significant, with emissions found to be 40 times higher than allowed, costing Volkswagen billions. As part of their amends, they invested $2 billion in creating Electrify America, a network of over 4,000 public chargers for electric cars. However, this initiative has been marred by its own controversies. Electrify America has been ranked last in consumer satisfaction among fast charging networks by JD Power. Studies have shown that only 72.5% of fast chargers are operational in the San Francisco Bay Area, with every fifth charging attempt failing due to various issues. As EV ownership has surged in recent years, consumers have become increasingly aware of the challenges associated with electric cars. It's estimated that 18% of EV buyers eventually return to gas-powered cars, largely due to the inconvenience of charging. The underperformance of Electrify America's charging stations is undoubtedly contributing to the current slowdown in the EV market. Scandal number four, Tesla's hidden complaints management team. Tesla, undeniably a trailblazer in the EV industry, is renowned for producing electric vehicles that not only function, but excel. However, the reality of these vehicles doesn't always match the glossy advertisements, particularly when it comes to maximum range. Tesla models boast impressive autonomy, with some claims exceeding 300, even 400 miles. But in practice, these numbers often fall short, influenced by factors such as driving habits and weather conditions. This discrepancy might have been overlooked, given the known challenges of battery technology. However, suspicions arose among Tesla owners that the company was using manipulated software to project overly optimistic range estimates. It appears that Tesla vehicles do employ algorithms that paint a rosy picture of distance capabilities. But once the battery level dips below 50%, these projections suddenly become far more realistic, with range figures plummeting right before the driver's eyes. The silver lining? Tesla vehicles are designed with a safety buffer, providing approximately 15 miles of extra range even after the empty battery warning. With the actual range falling significantly short of the advertised figures, it's no surprise that many owners sought to book dealer visits. However, Tesla found a way to curb these visits by sending messages stating that remote diagnostics had confirmed the battery was fine. We've since learned that Tesla employees were directed to deflect all range-related complaints. As these complaints mounted, Tesla established a dedicated team to handle these cancellations, dealing with hundreds of them on a weekly basis. The situation escalated to the point where Tesla began tracking each employee's cancellation count. To date, neither Tesla nor Elon Musk have responded to these allegations. Scandal number three, the echoes of the dash for diesel. Many might recall former UK Chancellor Gordon Brown's tax system favoring diesel cars over two decades ago. Diesel engines were praised for their lower carbon emissions compared to gasoline vehicles. However, the higher emissions of nitrogen oxides, particulates, and other pollutants, which are far more harmful to human health, were conveniently overlooked. This strategy is being replicated today, but this time the focus is on electric vehicles, EVs. EVs are marketed as zero emission, eco-friendly vehicles that will save our planet, and billions of taxpayer dollars are being funneled into various EV incentives. However, the drawbacks of electric vehicles are being overlooked. There are numerous reasons why EVs aren't the solution for everyone. Practical considerations such as charging infrastructure and ownership costs are significant hurdles. Furthermore, EVs pose a greater risk in traffic accidents due to their heavier weight. Considering that 90% of EV owners also own a gas-powered car for long trips, it's clear that EVs alone won't save the environment. Current estimates suggest that by 2050, EVs will account for no more than 20% of global car travel. According to the UN Climate Panel, this would only reduce global temperatures by a minuscule one ten thousandth of a degree Celsius by the end of the century. Interestingly, the International Energy Agency found that hybrid cars emit the same amount of CO2 as EVs over their lifetime, despite being cheaper and lacking many of the downsides of EVs, particularly in terms of charging. 
In essence, politicians are failing to acknowledge that the benefits of electric cars are minimal, while the downsides are numerous. Meanwhile, they are reluctant to tackle larger CO2 emitters, such as electricity production, agriculture, and industry. Remember, passenger cars only account for a mere 7% of global emissions. Scandal number two, the Nikola deception. Nikola, a company founded by Trevor Milton, serves as a stark example of the realities of the EV industry. While we won't claim that the entire automotive electrification movement is built on a foundation of falsehoods, it's evident that many aspects are merely the product of wishful thinking by various pioneers, officials, and politicians. The gap between promises and execution is glaringly apparent. This scandal perfectly illustrates this point. It all started a decade ago when Milton founded a startup in his basement with the vision of creating a hydrogen fuel cell heavy-duty truck, an electric vehicle powered by hydrogen instead of batteries. Two years later, we saw the unveiling of a prototype called Nikola One, which Milton claimed was a fully operational pickup, not just a pusher concept truck. However, it soon emerged that this concept, along with many other projects and technological advancements, were nothing more than fabrications. Milton faced numerous accusations of false and misleading statements, from claims that one of his pickups, the Badger, was built from scratch using Nikola's parts and technology, to misleading information about producing hydrogen at a reduced cost. Milton even began taking reservations for future orders to showcase billions in revenue. The fallout? Milton was sentenced to four years in federal prison and fined $1 million. And finally, scandal number one, the GM share buyback. This might not be a scandal in the traditional sense, but it's a glaring sign that many established automakers are struggling to navigate the transition to electric vehicles. General Motors, GM, long considered a faltering titan, is a prime example. Despite significant investments in recent years and a clear commitment to an all-electric future, GM's plans have hit roadblocks. The company is hemorrhaging billions on new EV investments, struggling to acquire new technologies and adapt its production processes. Profits from pickups and other gas-powered vehicles are being funneled to offset these massive EV losses. In this challenging climate, with shareholders dissatisfied with the current earnings projections, it's no surprise that GM's share price has taken a hit. In response, GM officials made the logical decision to buy back shares worth $10 billion, a quarter of the company's entire value. Investors are acutely aware that as GM continues to adhere to government mandates for widespread electrification, the company will keep losing billions on electric vehicles, especially given that traditional GM customers tend to be more conservative and less inclined towards EVs. GM must lean on profits from gasoline-powered vehicles for as long as possible and abandon the ambitious goal of producing over a million EVs annually by the end of this decade. If this doesn't happen, both the company and its shareholders can expect turbulent times ahead. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the world of vehicles. Don't forget to subscribe to Highway Herald for the latest vehicle updates and upcoming videos. See you next time.